Before going into sharing and exporting, we should first overview the Spotfire environment and data storage options. The Spotfire environment has three major components. Authoring is done on a desktop using the analyst client or web-based business author. The Spotfire server hosts your library and connects to other services. And lastly, web browsers and mobile devices are used for analysis consumption. When you save an analysis, the file is known as a DXP file and it can be published to your Spotfire library so others can view it on their devices. A DXP may also be downloaded to your local drive from the library, or outside the server environment, you can send the file directly to another desktop user like any other local file. When you save a file, you want to pay attention to where the data is stored. In my data canvas, I can click the data load settings on my initial data and see options. For always new data, the DXP needs access to the source to load data. It's important to note that if you're using a local file like a spreadsheet, the server doesn't have access to your local drive and will not be able to load the data. For new data when possible, the data is stored inside the DXP and will be automatically refreshed when the DXP is opened and the source is available. This means any new data in the spreadsheet will be brought into Spotfire. You would then need to resave the DXP to the library to have the new data shown for other consumers. The last option is store data in which the loaded data is saved to the DXP and the connection to the local spreadsheet is not looked at when the DXP is reopened, meaning that no new data will be brought in automatically. This is useful when you know your audience will not have access to the data and you want to package everything into your DXP. At any time you can hit the reload data button to manually refresh data as long as the DXP has access to it. There are further considerations for information links and data connections, but they are not covered in this video. To save my final analysis, I go to File, Save As. I see an option for saving locally as a file or saving to the library for other users to view. Going to Library, I'm presented with a folder structure. It's good now to take a minute and talk about the library setup. Every organization chooses to build a library in their own way, but it should always be a folder structure of some sorts. In this example, I'm logged in as the user Avery, who has access to the company shared folder, the marketing folder, and the sales folder. Permissions of what Avery can see and where she can save are managed by my organization, Spotfire Administrator. On the right, I'm logged in as a user Michael, who is in executive management. Michael can see all the folders in his organization, as granted to him by the Spotfire Administrator. In another case on the right, I'm now logged in as Alex, who is in the engineering department and can see the company shared folder and engineering folder, but cannot see the sales and marketing folders. If I'm Avery and I want to save my analysis somewhere that Alex can see, I should save it in a folder he has access to, like the company shared folder. Back in my client, I'll choose Save As, Library Item, and choose the company shared folder and analysis folder within. If I click Data Load Options, I see drop-down options for each table, which I can adjust. I can hit Next to add a description if I'd like, then hit Finish. After the file is saved, I'm presented with hyperlinks to that analysis location, which I can then send to my colleagues. Now that Avery has saved her DXP analysis in the company shared folder, Alex can go to that folder and open the analysis for viewing. Separate from sharing, there are options for export. By going to File, Export, and To PDF, I have options for formatting a PDF export file. I can choose what to include in the page, the page size, proportions, and other settings like margins and image quality. Another option is just to export the data itself. I can go to File, Export, Data to File, and then I can select which table I want and choose if I want to limit that data by markings or filtering. When I hit OK, I can choose a file name and the type of file to export to, including text files, Excel spreadsheets, or other Spotfire data files. Note that you can also go to Export and save this raw data to the library for other users to access.